Lucas Chest Compression System. Lucas is a portable device for chest compressions that makes 100 non-interrupted compressions per minute according to the guidelines. Lucas consists of an upper part and a back plate. The back plate is placed underneath the patient to form a support for the external chest compressions. The upper part contains a pneumatically driven piston rod which acts on the patient's chest via a pressure pad. The pressure pad is surrounded by a suction cup. The support legs of the upper part are fastened to the back plate prior to starting compressions. Arrival at the patient. Upon arrival at the patient, confirm cardiac arrest by determining the level of consciousness, breathing, and pulse. If the patient has a cardiac arrest, start CPR immediately. It is strongly recommended that qualified personnel work in teams of two. This enables one person to perform CPR while the other person unpacks Lucas. Unpacking and connecting the air On arrival, one of the Lucas team members should immediately start to unpack and connect Lucas. Place the bag on the floor with the straps downwards and the top opposite you. Take hold of the straps on the side of the cover and open up the cover so that the entire bag unfolds. Confirm that the on-off knob is in the adjust position. Assembly Take the back plate out of the bag and approach the patient. Instruct those carrying out CPR to interrupt chest compression. Take hold of the patient's arms. One of the Lucas team should support the patient's head. Lift up the patient's upper body and lay the back plate below the armpits. Ensure that the patient's arms are outside the back plate. Continue manual chest compressions. Take the upper part of Lucas out of the bag. Lift it out by holding onto the handles of the support legs. Ensure that the support legs have reached their outer position. Pull up once on the release rings to check that the claw locks are open. Interrupt manual chest compression. Make the interruption as short as possible. Place the upper part of Lucas over the patient's chest. Start by connecting the support leg nearest to you and then the one on the other side so the support legs lock against the back plate. Check by pulling upwards that both support legs have locked against the back plate. Adjustment To achieve effective compressions, it is very important that the suction cup is positioned correctly in relation to the patient. The suction cup should be centered over the sternum. The lower edge should be positioned immediately above the end of the sternum. Lower the suction cup with the height adjustment handles until the pressure pad inside the suction cup touches the patient's chest without compressing the chest. If the suction cup presses down too hard or too light on the rib cage, the patient's circulation will be compromised.
operating. When the position of the suction cup is correctly adjusted, Lucas can be switched on. Turn the on-off knob to active. Lucas will now give chest compressions. Check that the device is working as it should regarding frequency and compression. Do not leave the patient or device unattended while Lucas is active. Using the Lucas Stabilization Strap If the application of Lucas Stabilization Strap threatens to delay the treatment of the patient, it should be applied later or not at all. When compressions with Lucas have been started, start to attach the stabilization strap. Lift the patient's head carefully and place the support cushion under the patient's neck, as close to the patient's shoulders as possible. Move the buckles on the device straps towards the patient's head. Connect the buckles on the support cushion straps to the device straps. Make sure that the straps are not twisted. Tighten the support cushion straps firmly while holding the support legs of Lucas. <laughs>